the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 341, Acts 24 to 26. Paul's request for the emperor's trial. Paul, who was transported to Caesarea after avoiding the threat of the Jews, stayed there for two years and was made to go to Rome because he asked for the Roman emperor's trial. First point. As the Sanhedrin assembly used the trial of Pontius Pilate in the past to kill Jesus, this time they planned to use the trial of Governor Felix to kill Paul. A captain of a thousand who was patrolling Jerusalem at the time dedicated 470 Roman soldiers to secretly protect and take Paul to Caesarea at night. The next morning, the Sanhedrin assembly found out about this and went into frenzy. There was a particular group among the Jews who planned to kill Paul, using the sixth Sanhedrin assembly trial, and so when they found out that Paul secretly escaped, they fumed with anger. However, after five days, they got their act together and made an official appeal and request to arrest Paul. In the past, they had used the trial of Pontius Pilate to kill Jesus on the cross, and this time they planned to use the trial of Governor Felix to kill Paul. Felix accepted their request and officially permitted Paul's trial. The trial was to be held by Felix, and the script was to be written by the Sanhedrin assembly with Paul as a defendant without a legal representative. During trial, Paul declared his innocence. Firstly, Paul spoke against the allegations of offending the Jews. Paul stated that he had only been in Jerusalem for 12 days and therefore did not have the time to cause offense. Paul added that there was no witness for this allegation. Secondly, he spoke against the terms that he was the head of a heresy. Paul explained that he was not a heretic and that he believed in the Old Testament, as well as a resurrection. Thirdly, Paul spoke against the allegation that he blasphemed the Jerusalem temple. Paul explained that he collected the funds for Jerusalem and that if there was anything wrong with this, the people affected should have made charges against him straight away. Second point, in order to learn about Jesus, to receive money, and to gain popularity among the Jews, Governor Felix made Paul stay in Caesarea for two years under his supervision. Felix, who heard Paul's statement, could not find a fault in him. However, as this was a political matter, he decided to postpone this trial to when the captain of a thousand came to Jerusalem. What Felix should have done was to declare Paul's innocence and stopped everything then and there. However, Felix was stuck between Paul and the Jews and wished to please both sides. Felix had three reasons for locking up Paul in Caesarea for two years. The first was because his wife was a Jew and therefore had heard about Jesus. He and his wife both wished to learn more about Jesus from Paul. The second was because he wished to gain support from the Jews. He did not want the Jews to resent him and therefore he did the minimum act of locking up Paul. The third was because he knew that Paul had collected the funds and therefore wished to receive money from him. However, Festus came to take his place as governor. Therefore, as his last gift to the Jews, Felix put Paul back in prison and then left Caesarea to return to Rome. Third point, Paul did not agree to the Sixth Sanhedrin Assembly trial as Governor Festus suggested 
but rather requested for the trial by the Roman emperor as a Roman citizen. Festus, who took over Felix's place, decided to look around Jerusalem for three days after his arrival. The Sanhedrin assembly used this as an opportunity to once again attempt to kill Paul via a Sanhedrin assembly trial. The Sanhedrin assembly requested to Festus to open the sixth trial against Paul. What they really had in mind was to assassinate Paul on his way to Jerusalem. To their disappointment, Festus did not permit their request, but rather told them that he would open a governor trial in Caesarea. Thus, Paul once again stood at a courtroom two years since Felix's trial. Once again, the Sanhedrin assembly was unable to find any valid reasons to kill Paul. Governor Festus feared that his relationship with the Sanhedrin assembly may become awkward, and so Festus asked Paul whether he would be willing to receive the sixth Sanhedrin assembly trial. To this, Paul requested the trial from the Roman emperor. Paul knew that Festus had to listen to a Roman citizen more so than the Jews. Thus, Roman citizen Paul left for the emperor's trial from Caesarea to Rome. Fourth point, in order to arrange Paul's case, Festus consulted King Agrippa. One day, Governor Festus met with King Agrippa, who came to visit, and they had a talk about various matters. One of the issues raised by Festus was what happened in Jerusalem and Caesarea, and he asked him for advice on this matter. The reason he asked for advice was because he was unable to find a fault in Paul. Festus had to write an official appeal in order for Paul to receive a trial, but he was unable to find a suitable crime. He also knew that Paul was not safe with the Sanhedrin assembly. When Agrippa heard all this, he wanted to meet Paul in person, and so this was arranged. Fifth point, during the meeting with King Agrippa, Paul spread Jesus' gospel. Paul used the last opportunity he was given to defend himself. First, Paul explained his past and how he was a Jew. Second, Paul explained how he became a Christian via his Damascus moment. Third, Paul declared that he was called as an apostle for 14 nations by God. Fourth, Paul came to his conclusion that the reason for his persecution was due to the fact that he was trying to spread the gospel to foreign nations. Using this opportunity, Paul also proclaimed Jesus and the cross. Hearing this, Festus claimed Paul's lunacy due to his learning. To Festus, Paul's spiritual experience and faith made him look crazy. Even after hearing that he was crazy, Paul continued to speak to Agrippa. At last, the matter came to a cross. Although all who were there agreed that Paul was innocent, Paul was unable to leave prison, and he still had to await his trial from the Roman emperor. However, despite this, Paul was still glad that he could go to Rome. As such, Paul used every opportunity to spread the gospel of Jesus. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.